Lords and ladies, welcome to my street, five years later, with your host, Jake Butter. And also, let's welcome the person who was clearly somewhat taken aback by the intro I've done for several seasons now, Ghosty. I, s- I saw your reaction before. Why were you so surprised? No, I'm not surprised. It just entertains me every time. Okay, fine then. Like, right. I don't often view people going all out for their intros like you do. So whenever I see it, it's like, oh, this is a thing I've already known about. But every time I view it or experience it, it's like, wow. You're putting so much effort into this. I mean, fair enough. It it involves it involves moving moving a dial and pressing a button, but I'm glad that you're impressed. Listen, most people don't move dials or press buttons. Okay, yeah, that is that is indeed fair. All right. That's why I like restream so much. I got that set up. Yeah. So, uh welcome Frizzy Blaze and Oh yeah, yes indeed, Ghosty is back. Yeah, Ghosty is back from a limited time for her depression came to bring you entertainment. Indeed. And the entertainment today consists of Kawaii Chan's ex boyfriends. Yay! Watching one of my least favorite not my least favorite episode this season. I was about to say that one already passed. Hmm. I'm trying to I'm trying to remember like what how, how exactly they bring in the ex boyfriends apart from I guess in casual conversation because I don't recall recent Damien randomly showing up. I was also, about to say Zane's they in the haven't. Thumbnail. Zane's, Zane's in, in the, the thumbnail for this one. So why? Wait. Wanna... Does that make Zane a future ex boyfriend? I mean, I don't know. Do oh no! Titles work on time travel logic. I have no idea. Uh, also, we're not referring to we're not referring to Dante here because. Oh wait, no, hang on a second. No, Dante did date Kawhi Chan in this reality. Effort. Yeah, you're right. Uh, I don't think Brendan ever did. Although then, then again, Kawhi Chan canonically has had like multiple boyfriends because she wasn't sure of herself. So if Brendan did have a crush on Kawhi Chan, then maybe she would have given him a chance to see what happened. Yeah, I don't Brendan, know. Brendan did have a crush on Kawhi Chan, but that's kind of a leftover from Minecraft Diaries. Well, so is the whole dating Dante thing, and Dante cheating on Nicole with Kawhi, or uh, Kawhi Chan and Nicole, or vice versa, from, like, you know, the whole room of him dating two girls at once or something, and then both of them being there, and, you know, that whole thing. And the other one I... with dark hair. I think you're referring to Damien right now. I'm glad that we're acknowledging that Reese existed at one point. That's true, and he's so important, he's been put in the thumbnail. Honestly, we haven't seen him in ages. Yeah, I miss Reese. I mean, aside from the whole Kawaii Chan thing, he was legitimately an interesting character. And also not from the same continuity as everybody else was. I liked seeing the non-diaries people who were recycled into my street actually flourish in some sort of way. Which, incidentally, in case anyone is watching, um, watching right now and happens to be working on a My Street sequel, I put that forward to your consideration as a missed opportunity. A new day and another five years. That is correct. And also, speaking of going all out for this stuff, I, I just so happened to, um, to be uh, shopping yesterday. My mom does this thing, but that thing where she actually, where she. I guess shopping list for a food bank, and apparently we were buying like the entire stock of whatever was on the list. Um, in the meantime of doing all of that, we still had a little bit left over, so I got a giant tub of popcorn. So now I have an actual thing to contain it in. So there you go. I Plus, wish of I course, my usual tub of popcorn. Hmm. I have my setup, and yes, we did. We did go over this thing. The, the Kawhi Chan did in fact date Dante in high school. Yeah, all. Yeah, hold on, no. She, she actually dated him twice because the implication with the whole Dante dating two people at once was that it was Kawaii and Nicole at the start of the year. 
that they had only just graduated, meaning that he must have dated them in middle school beforehand. However, we also have a throwaway line in season two where they say that Kawhi has been on a date since, no, sorry, that Dante has been on a date since Kawhi Shan in high school, meaning that not only did she date him once, but she gave him a second chance after getting cheated on. As did Nicole, for that matter. And then she got cheated on a second time because of Love, Love, Paradise and the whole thing with Jenna. So, like, yeah. I'm kind of upset Nicole phased out of existence at one point. Oh, yeah, definitely agreed. Then again, it did actually spare her the atrocities that happened later. So from her perspective, it's actually quite good. But from the audience, eh, not so much. Just so, like Lawrence, wasn't he, you know, descendant of a divine warrior? I don't recall if Lawrence was or not. I know that Garth was, as was Travis. Like, Garth was? What I've noticed is that every Diaries character and every Divine Warrior have a certain color association. Lawrence, near the start of Diaries, was associated with the color green, but somewhere that was given to Travis instead. And well, ever also, since I, I would have then, said Lawrence's association unsure. was actually the color orange for quite a bit because of his hair. Like the color orange, it, it his color associations have bounced around, but green is what I've most stuck to because it was the color of the cape on his armor in Minecraft Diaries, uh, the original series. Mm, I would have gone with red for him because of the Shadow Knight part. Yeah, I would have gone for, for red for him too, but they remember they gave the red cape to Dante. They also gave him the red swords. Hmm. Okay, but then, but then again, also you could say that you could the whole color association thing doesn't necessarily mean divine warrior because Kawaii Chan is a color association, and she's definitely not descended from any Kawaii. Uh, any, uh, I almost said Kawaii warriors. Can you imagine that being <laughs> in the lore of Minecraft Diaries? <laughs> Ooh, Kawaii warriors! Ow. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, like. Mostly, uh, I thought it was Elred. L red. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, <laughs> red because I associate Vlad with green for some reason because of his outfits, I reckon. Yeah, mostly what I've noticed is that colors that have similar color characters with similar colors are often related to each other, like, it's kind of unclear what. He's always been associated with green. He's had green armor, green swords. But then the green was given to Travis. Are you trying to theorize there's a there's a relation between them? Because I'll no. remind you that none of the remains. I'm saying back that at one point <laughs> I'm saying that at one point the green was taken away from Lawrence, and that's the point where he disappeared. <laughs> So I guess he just, I, I guess the way to bring back Lawrence is to have him continue to be more like Travis. Actually, there's some <laughs> truth to that. There's some truth to that because Lawrence's original personality in, particularly in, why well, in both realities, uh, in both Diaries and My Street, was that he was the flirtatious one until Dante one-upped him and then Travis one-upped Dante. So actually, the yeah. We just don't have salute. Dante and Travis. Wait, the reason yeah. why we don't have Dante and Lawrence anymore is because they gave all of his personality to Travis. There you go. We <laughs> told you. Okie dokie. Um, let's see. Uh, MD Penguin says, I saw this episode like two years ago and I thought Casey's BF were in the video, but I guess not. Yeah, why would you think that in a video called Kawhi Chan's ex boyfriend featuring Kawhi Chan's ex-boyfriend in the thumbnail, as well as her current boyfriend and a crush never actually dated, why would you assume they would be in the video at all? There's nothing to suggest that. <laughs> uh, green means player. I sure hope not. Green's actually my favorite color. I just don't use it a lot because of green screen. I will anyway. only create uh, main characters associated with the color green. That's mm -hmm. it. Oleg's eye color is changing. <laughs> it's no longer brown. His eyes are now green. Nice correlation connection. Oh my word! It would it would be it, it would be funny to like have to, to have like Ulrich be like um have like an ego and away with the ladies because of his position as the as the next chosen one. But I know that's out of character. So yeah, no, obviously. Yeah, I know. Ulrich is a nervous wreck when he's in the same room with a woman or a man who's vaguely interested. 
you know what? If you ever do a prequel with his with his father, then that can actually be a, a contrast between them. No, like him and his dad have a great relationship. It's his. No, I mean a contrast of character, not like a conflict that they have. I'm not saying that they're, they, you know, you can, you can be, you can, you can be connected with people who are your polar opposite very easily. God, like I've based the personality for Ovik's dad off of. Uh... Fucking Jack That's Fenton from thing. Danny Phantom. Oh, I've never seen that show. Okay. Oh. I need also, to. Poor Hawaii me. Chan. Hawaii <laughs> Chan. <laughs> I think you. I think your autocorrect is showing right now. Hawaii <laughs> Chan. All right. Let's cool. go ahead and see what. Let's go and see what Hawaii Chan is in store for us today. Aspal's turning into a werewolf, so you should get this cat wolf plushie. I that's right, Aphmau's in exclusive pain right now, so you should buy our merch. <laughs> I swear, it's a wolf, guys. <laughs> Just kidding, it's a cat. <laughs> but it's on sale this week only, and it's ready to cuddle with you. Hope you know this is the kind of thing that Aphmau would instantly, like, if she listened to this right now, trying to listen to an episode back, she would cringe at it immediately. You guys enjoy the episode. Bye! Ah, the ocean breeze. I have to say, Garte. Oh. Just... Are we gonna get what I think we're gonna get? I think we're gonna get it. Actually pretty upset when you get called out on emergency business meetings, but this time, I think I can forgive you. Oh, calm down, Ziana. You know I always bring you Why the fun ones. Why would there be an emergency, oh, business I... e emergency business meeting at an island resort? Well, you never know. We never, we don't actually know what the Romave Corporation actually do, so it couldn't be anything. Yeah, unlike the Lycan Corporation that have been implied to be in television, we don't actually yeah. know what these nutsos do. <laughs> like, I could assume that they have business in real estate. Yeah, you would think that one of them actually would have real estate connections to sitting the whole lodge thing. I don't know. Like, I think, the, comment, I think the, the chat is now predicting what we're going to see right now as well. Jagate and the Great Dish Fairy. Yeah. They do stuff with movies. Oh, so they're in entertainment as well. Okay. Okay, so it. both of them are telecom entertainment companies. Okay, I'm just going to make the assumption now that whatever... We don't actually know what that company is called either, do we? But no, no, no. We know it's, it's the Remave Corporation. Remave Corporation. Yeah, no, they're, they're not. They're not creative at all. Like neither. I'm just going to say the Remave Corporation, for the point of assumption, I'm just going to assume they're in the real estate business. Because if we guess that they're both in telecoms, uh, that that makes this really awkward. Yeah, that's why they partner it up because they're in the same industry. That also would make sense. Then again, where does the whole lodge connection come in then, if that's the case? Are they gonna were they gonna use this as part of a movie set or something? Like actually that sounds quite convincing. They they, they might do that. Hmm. Could be used as a cover up for something. Something big. Oh yeah. Some some sort of some sort of big secrets. An emerald secret. Some sort of big there. secret or some sort of horrible accident. Mm-hmm. All right. I thought yeah. God Made Company is about real estate. I did, I did too, but apparently they can do more than one thing. I suppose. Then again, you know, McDonald's are in real estate as well as food industry. So McDonald's. <laughs> no, they are. Yeah, like, like the way that they, the way they make their money most of the time is people like buying plots of land from them to open a McDonald's franchise from them and then taking some most of their profits. Oh yeah. I know. I... <laughs> I almost forgot McDonald's was a franchisee company. You know, kind of yeah. like the Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh, is that is that why there's there's so many, there's so many new locations constantly opening? <laughs> Come that on, makes sense, actually. Multi-purpose. I think it's a spin-off of their MCD counterparts being Lord of Ocasis. Well, okay. So here's the thing. Yes, the idea of the, the Lord thing does actually come into their companies because there is a parallel between the fact that they want guards to take over the company 
but you know, but even though Zane would be more qualified for it, and Zane respecting the wishes, kind of like Melissa does in a way, actually, as well. And Aaron, of course, himself does, in fact, become Lord of Dalkinthor in, in Diaries. But, you know, in this reality, he's a different person, so I don't, you know, should, they should have accounted for that. Also, was there, was, no, there was no implication of the fact that there was, you know, that the, uh, the title was passed down onto him from his parents in Diaries, at least not that I recall. Wait, Afmo is Lord of Phoenix Trust. So that does that mean that Afmo owns a company? Well, she does own the Kawaii Treat Maid Sweet Cafe. So not an entertainment company per se, but something. And she was planning to expand. I'm very grateful for your work, honey well, bear. Geez, Aww, boo -boo to and because of an off-handed suggestion by Melissa, which triggered Aaron to the point where she sold the Kawaii Maid Street Cafe. But she sold it to the wrong person. Did she actually sell it, or is the, or is it just being looked after by Jean? I I don't know. It's just never been like explicitly stated. Yeah, no, I, I don't, I don't, I don't recall her ever saying that she sold it at all. God, your lighting is so good. I'm so jealous. I want lighting. I've, this, I is have like the, this is just like the lights. I've been turning my ring lights on. I forgot about that. My dad actually borrowed it apparently, and it worked well for him. What he didn't do apparently was plug it back in after we finished. Um, let's see. I think Jean's just manager. Yeah, but never. Lord, in one reality, you own a company in another. Oh no, you have a point. Uh. <laughs> what was that? Because then Kawaii and Av have no income. They already don't have income. I mean, well, remember, Afmal never actually officially quit her night shift job, so we don't know if she still has. We don't know if she still works for the Five Nights at Freddy's. There are so many unresolved points in the show! Listen, that also becomes a plot point. That also becomes one of my points of contention with a certain fan series that I've been slowly cringing at. Yeah. God, unresolved plot lines. Zane wants to learn to bake to surprise Kawaii Chan with treats. That doesn't sound we get that for anymore. like two episodes, and then it drops off the face of the planet. Oh, okay, now I see. That was actually a decent idea. Surprise it was a decent idea, planet. which is why I'm upset that it didn't fucking go anywhere. <laughs> uh, I, yeah. need, I need to do that stream reviewing Lion Gate at some point. It's coming. It will happen, people. I'm making a whole ass video essay about it. And as as you should, honestly. I'm yeah. so passionately mad at this. Yeah, I will I will stick to the stream for it because obviously that is that is what the is what the people demand of me. But yeah. yeah. Also, um, okay. Okay. I'm just gonna address this because I know that that's a rumor because of the time that in the in the live stream that Afmal said might that Afmal's job might have been the first adult joke. In the series, she never said it. It just said it. It said it was, nor that that was specifically the actual adult joke involved. But, like, I don't think Aaron would appreciate that very much. Well, the thing, the thing is, she never even told anyone, so maybe he doesn't even know. But yeah, also, also, I don't think even in season one, even ignoring Aaron. Even in season one, Afmal's that one of Afmal's like big things that you know she complained about, rightfully so, was the fact that all of these guys were constantly after her, mostly for looks. It seems very counterintuitive that she would actually go to a job where people are supposed to pine after you specifically for your looks. God. So yeah, who knows? It might have been another adult joke. I'm not sure. After uh, Cam go. Again, we, we encounter the same basic issue. Also, if she was a cam girl, she wouldn't leave the house for that and would eventually get discovered by Kate or Kawaii Chan. All I know is that she's an author of fanfic and shit. Fanfic. And a nighttime guard employee at FNAF 
yeah, the whole, that was the comment on the first episode back in the day. They deleted the comment, but it said job might be FNAF. So they had other plans for that as well. So the whole adult joke might have been just, again, another joke to throw off the audience. I'm really not sure about that. And I've been wanting to do this, like the, like the biggest thing I want to have been doing a theory on for five years now, but I have no evidence to support anything. So that's, that's the thing. There's no way to connect anything. There's not enough threads for this tree. Yeah, there, there you go. <laughs> Apparently, okay. there's, there's the connection. I have, okay. I have a night shift. Oh, speaking of that, I just realized I have, to, I need to, uh, I need to plug my computer in. Otherwise, it's good night for that as well. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Meanwhile, I have done my hair for the stream, so I can look a little bit less like a weird owl and a little more like a more depressed Hermione Granger. <laughs> more. I don't. I don't know this. <laughs> the smile might like, divide the. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how. I don't, I don't know how like outwardly happy looking Hermione was all the time, considering that most of the time she had a head buried in a book. She's... Or, or, or was um, or was trying to you know, cause the next wave of activism in her spare time. God, wants to compendium Minecraft Diaries crossover. Oh, it has green eyes? Question mark. That's the crossover. Okay, fair enough. All right, so let's keep going. Speaking of weird jobs, this scene. Please. Hmm. Ew, Mom, Dad. Oh, I think I think we ruined the we ruined the joke here. Let me just go back. Oh no, not the whole. Way. I don't get it. Wait, 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 wait. Yes, because we skipped over and we're talking constantly. That's why. I have to say, Garte, usually pretty upset when you get called out on emergency business meetings, but this time I think I can forgive you. Oh, calm down, Ziana. You know I always bring you the fun ones. Oh, I know. <laughs> I'm very grateful for your work, honey bear. Aw, boo-boo face. Hmm. Ew, mom, dad. There we go. That's one of my favorite deliveries from Andy, just the way he says, Ew, dad. <laughs> oh, calm down, Garth. We're your parents. We love each other. Yeah, th th the fact that you're his parents is precisely the problem in this situation. Yeah, but you don't have to do it in front of me. God, you a whole ass adult man, get over it. Yeah, also, if he didn't want this one, this, 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 if anyone his parents to do anything in front of him, then why is he there? Is he, is he, is he, is he being called over for his law training? I mean, business uh, training? What are you going to do when Susu teases his girlfriend in front of you? I mean, he's already got that figured out. Like, last episode. when did they find out that. What? What? When did they find out that Kawhi Chan and Zane were dating? Um, in 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 episode twenty, Zuzu's got a girlfriend. <laughs> oh my god! Let's continue. All right, hold on a second. Oh no. Okay, one, Zane is not my parent, so it's not as creepy. Two, wait. Again, he brings his A again to this, not as creepy. Hold that thought. Ziana, what did you say? Oh, that's right. I forgot to tell you, Garte. But our little Susu has... I'm surprised she forgot to tell him, because that would be the first thing she mentioned in any conversation, <gasps> most likely. The girlfriend! <laughs> <laughs> that, that's funny. For, for for a moment there, I thought you said Zuzu. You actually meant Gargar, -gar, right? Nope, you heard me right. So you did say Gargar. -gar. Nope, I said Zuzu. Right, Gargar. -gar. No. This man owns a company, apparently. Oh, Garte. This I man said owns a Zuzu. company. This <laughs> man also thinks there are magic dishwashing fairies. Yeah, frankly, I'm surprised that there's that in the writing where they didn't just make Ziana the company owner. It makes so much more sense. Yep. But 
You can't be almighty lord of Volcanesis without apparently owning a company in this universe. No, no, I, I guess I guess you can't. Wow, a new girlfriend! Congrats, Garth! Wait, what? He keeps calling him Garth. Or Gargo! Yes, this isn't Wayne's world. Or... No, I'm Zuzu! It's kind what? Of like, uh, You're telling me Zane like got a girlfriend? Wait, oh, that worked. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so switching the nicknames apparently is is makes it so that yeah, by his own watch, yeah, yeah, I, I guess I guess that would work. This just works. This just works. Uh huh. I'm confused. <laughs> when did this happen? Zane got a girlfriend. Garth, where's your girlfriend? Aren't you happy? Like, how dare your younger brother get a girlfriend before you, even though you've had girlfriends in the past? Oh, shame on you, Garth. Super like Saiyan Garte! I'm just here trying to figure out how. It was, I mean, well, actually, to figure out how, we need to go back a long way, Garte, so actually, that's fair. What's to figure out? Well, because <laughs> Zayn used to be a neat. Yeah, you know, Z Zane, Zane likes cute things. This one cute thing attached herself to him like a limpet in season two. And then <laughs> afterwards, they actually started to properly bond a little bit, became, became more friends. Then a whole haunted house thing happened, proving Melissa's point about romantic moments despite there not being a thing in real life. And here we are. It's all like, perfectly simple. People can have romantic moments in real life. It's just not many yeah. that are, you know, that passionate. Yeah, it's just, I don't know where the whole haunted house rumor thing came from. Although, if I had to speculate, I would say it was what some sort of, well, some Disneyland employee told Jess and Jason when they were there. Like, actually, it's an anime about. Trope. Hmm. As long as they're happy. But he's not the type to score a date. Honey bear, don't That's be a me. rude doo doo face. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine your own parents saying that. That's terrible. Has no rules or boundaries. Sure, there's foundation that yes, needs to be added to the relationship. Wait, but no wait, 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 wait. They're saying this in front of God. You know, kind of under the assumption that God will not tell Zane that his parents are terrible when, when he's not around. Yeah, that's very true. Yeah, who knows? No relationship starts out perfect. Oh yeah, Garth can't keep a secret, can he? Perfect, nor ever is. Ours was perfect and still is. If that were true, then maybe you'd stand to do the dishes once in a while. Or stop eating chocolate every time she talks too much. Why do the dishes when we have a dishwasher? We haven't had a dishwasher in a year! Why not? You own a company, just buy a new one. Then what's been doing the dishes? Me! Hey! You guys can go back to being lovey-dovey now. I think I'm okay with it now. Imp! Frankly, Garth, I don't know what's worse. Possible! We must have some kind of fairy that comes by to do it! Why does Garth- Why does Garth say just not believe in any of his family members? He doesn't believe that Zane can get a girlfriend. He doesn't believe that Ziana is capable enough to do dishes by herself? Who does he think these people are? Irene, give me the strength to not smack this man upside his- I need to find out who Zane's girlfriend is! Oh yeah, sure, change the subject back again, of course. I must know how this happened! That's question uh... on the internet. I'm pretty sure she's, like, the only one dancing around like a fairy on the internet with hot pink hair. Hmm? Possibly. Actually, Mommy. no. Does that mean that kawaii Chan's the real cam girl here? Are you gonna... <laughs> go after him? Nope. Right now, Mommy just needs some time to collect herself. Thank goodness you don't take after your father, Smarts. <laughs> um, about that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm I mean, even sure the only smart one of your children is Zane. I know Zane is more than is capable of the possibility of a relationship. It just came sooner than I thought. So, Mom, is oh, there no. such a thing as a dishwashing fairy? Because I really could use one back home. Of course there is, sweetie. Of course there is. And that's the intro, yeah. Yeah, and this is the point where she realizes that I'm an idiot. 
yeah, just point where you should realize is that, yeah, I think that's why that today, the only one who thinks is capable of anything is Garth. Garth is that he gives him confidence and nobody else, just because he takes after him so much. So small. Watch. This is why Garth has not ranked highly on my list of good parents of my street, which is already a pretty short list. The clock ticking off the wall. Listen, but Leo, people you know that Derek is the worst My Street parent. Well, I mean, Derek is always going to be the worst My Street parent. Go spend my coin for sure. I'm going to be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. Gonna... How's that charm holding up for you, Kim? Oh, yes. Oh, oh, yeah. How's this soon to be useless charm going to help you? What was the point of this? It does nothing. Doing great! I haven't had ghost take over in a while now. now. Good. Then that means it might hold until we can find a more permanent solution. The very fact that you're around Kawaii Chan and Ghost isn't freaking out means that it's progress. Meanwhile, Ghost inside of her is going, Let me out! Let me out! Kind of like you when you want to be in that in the streams, actually. I know. <laughs> Actually, no, I just gremlin skitter and like claw at the door until you let me in. Like a cat or a gremlin. Yeah. Sada, by the way. Dental floss and some crystals I had left over. Really? Wow. Dental floss? Yeah. No wonder. You know what would have been a funny line there? No wonder it smells so fresh. <laughs> yeah, very true. <laughs> Or, you know, if you, if you want a, a Hermione connection, no wonder it smells like toothpaste. Hey, Chan, I'm so sorry about everything Ghost has said to you. It's alright, I can't even imagine what it's like for you to live with a ghost, but I can tell it's not fun. Yeah, you're right, it's not. Hmm. Hey, Kim, would you mind giving Kawaii Chan and I a moment? Alone? Sure, no problem. I was just about to head inside anyways. Getting kind of hot for me. Is everything okay? Everything's fine. I just want to talk to Kawaii Chan about, you know who, and I don't want that to provoke the ghost to come out. Even though this is exactly what you said was not happening right now, again, Lucinda knows the charm is useless. She just gave she just gave Kim a really bad placebo. Oh, right. Good point. All right, ladies, I'm heading inside. Kind of See you floor. around. Mm -hmm. So, Koi Chan. Hold on a second. What was up with, with Lucinda's neck there for some reason? Like the texturing underneath her was very weird for some reason. Like she forgot to put sun cream underneath her and didn't tan there. Yes, yeah, so? I'm really curious. How are things yeah, look, going see, insane? Like... Yeah, it I'm, is. I'm, I'm trying to pause on her, like, on when she, like, lifts her head up. <laughs> I see you want to gossip. More than ever. There, look, look at that patch. What is going oh, on there? Oh my Irene. <laughs> oh god, what's wrong with your face? <laughs> I mean, who doesn't enjoy juicy gossip every once in a while? <laughs> Maybe she no, seriously, too much that's my second motivation. Mm -hmm. Sorry? She just put too much sunscreen on her neck. Oh yeah, so it just didn't tan like everyone else. Yeah, exactly. My first is being concerned with you. You're too sweet. Like, if you don't mind sharing, I'm all ears. Yeah, it's like I'm I'm concerned for you as a friend. It's like I'm you know, that's my main motivation. Now tell me everything. Tell me what's going on. Ah. Give me the beats, girl. <laughs> uh. hmm, tell well, me your character you motivation. <laughs> uh. I need to know your dramatic backstory, babe. Tell me the dates. And like grabs her by the by like bikini top. It's like, tell me everything. <laughs> that has always been there, Lucinda. It's a weird that technique. Is, that has always been there for Lucinda. It's a weird technique for shading MC skins. I see. Also, speaking oh. of stuff that's always been there for Lucinda, maybe the reason she likes to gossip so much because she lives vicariously with other people's love lives. She's afraid to 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 um open up her own again. She's like, okay. I'm gonna do this with the safety of not having to be involved myself. Seen her going great. We've been on it a date and things have been. Her and Melissa very uncomfortably share that right now. Hmm? Well, Except I mean, 
Except for some reason, uh, Melissa is only fixated on the relationship between Aphmau and her brother. Yeah, that's because that's because she's she's more comparable to Gareth in this instance, because Gareth, of course, is the one fangirling over Zane and Kawaii Chan the most at this point. And just because, you know, he wants his little brother to succeed, I think Melissa's the same there. Because I'm not sure that Melissa has some sort of tragic backstories, like, you know, being cheated on in the past or something. I could be wrong there, but there's nothing. You know, unless but... you follow the Lion Gate canon. Oh, I see. Well, then. In that case, yeah, I need to sit you down so we can watch that. Yeah, I, I will invite you to that stream eventually when I just, like, you know, go through the whole thing. Because, yeah, pretty sure I have reacted to the first one somewhere, but I'm just going to start from the beginning. I don't remember everything, and quite frankly, that's a blessing. Working out really well. I'm just so anxious for when we decide to take it to the next level. Oh, um... What do you mean? I mean, like, become boyfriend and girlfriend. Ah, I see. I'm really excited. Yeah, what do you think she meant, Lucinda? i for that. Hmm. All right. Hmm? N nothing. Something on your mind? No, really. It's... Um... <laughs> you can talk to me about anything. I know, it's just... You might get upset. Try me! Are you sure? Yeah! Okay, um... <clears throat> Kawaii Chan, you have a, um, a tendency... I thought she was gonna go say, like, Kawaii Chan, Snickerdoodle or something. I just remember, I, that just, like, brought me into a flashback of, of, you know, like, the Christmas tree episode in season one, when Aphmau, like, pulls, <laughs> pulls Kawaii Chan aside, like, Kawaii Chan, honey bunches. You have a tendency to get very, very excited. Here we are again. <laughs> of, uh, um, rushing a little bit your relationships? Uh, huh? What do you mean? Is it not appropriate for somebody to actually start dating somebody two, th two days after they actually confess their feelings? Oh, look at that. A distraction. Hold on a second. My hair is really long. Look at this distraction right now. I actually did have to close my window. That was like a double thing. <laughs> what do you mean? Kawaii-chan, for as long as I've known you... Uh, what are you doing with your hair? I had two clips in it, and now I'm seeing how long my bangs are. Oh, I see. Fair enough. Okay. Apparently, I was, I was they're really long. Like, like, I think I try and make make it bushier or something. I, I know that's like a uh, that's like Hermione's look, but still. Every guy you've been with. Oh, trust you... me. The only reason I can get this thing bushier is by uh, rubbing a balloon on it. Yeah, fair enough. Um, Got to get a little bit uh, kind of rush electricity. Ow. No, I don't. Sweetie, you do. I vaguely remember you having a few boyfriends in high school that only lasted for a month. A few? Okay. Having short relationships that last for a month, that's not necessarily her fault. Depends if she broke up with them or not. It, it, you know, that, that, that's, that can happen sometimes. Uh, I mean, I've had very know, short relationships in the past. And then there was Reese, who she only dated for like 24 hours. Hmm. And well, by dated, I mean she kidnapped him and kept, the, kept him in her house. That doesn't count. Is well, he's that why like Reese anyway. is in the list of ex-boyfriends? Is that the reason? And yes, yes, I will send you a link. Like, I, I, if you I really love how, like, think the, about the moment it. we start talking about shipping is the moment when, when Maya wants to actually join one of the streams again. Well, like, I was going to say, if you really think about it, we didn't hear mention of them uh, like doing any dating business. We only saw that one instance of them interacting. It yeah, was exactly. Kawaii Chan was... being super weird and creepy. Okay, there was more build up to actually her getting the confidence to talk to Reese on a place, you know, in full sentences. That was the deal that she made with Aphna in like episode ten or something. So so honestly, it's that I don't I don't consider that dating at all. In fact, Reese had more of a chance to meet you by that logic. Oh, by the way, hi Maya. Oh my god, are you in your closet? No, I'm actually in my dorm. Fair enough. Nice. Yeah. I was going to say, that was, a very, that, was a very good, um, that was a very good gay joke that you could have made there, but that's fine. 
I mean, plus you seem to be wearing a flannel shirt, so they're talking. You know, no, I'm actually wearing a blanket. It's um, I'm cold. I have the shivers. I see. Fair enough. I, that's why I closed my window. Well, apart from the whole thing, that was a double fit. <laughs> nah, even if it was hot in here, I would still be cold right now. But like, that's not. <laughs> actually, does this thing have it? It's getting hot in here, so put on extra layers. Wait, that's not right. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> <laughs> I turned on the RGB gamer settings. I don't know what that means. Wait, so anyway, uh, Maya, RGB since you just joined us. Red, green, blue. Ah, okay. that's red. That's red. Green. And then blue. Uh -huh. Hey, look, you're a player now. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I just got to... Wait, did you become magenta for a second? Apparently I did. There you go. How many settings does this fucking thing have? Okay, so anyway, while Ghosty plays with that, uh, Maya, do you have anything to add while we were here because you wanted to join the stream? Um, um, I don't remember what's going on, honestly. I think Lucinda just told Kawaii chan that she's moving too fast, right? Yes, that is precisely what just happened. <laughs> um, um, yeah, Lucinda's like that friend who, like, actually knows what she's talking about. Like, Ooh. Ivan's a douchebag, but Lucinda's, like, good at relationships somehow. Yeah, that's, it's, it's interesting because she, she combines, like, the mother-type friend with, 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 like, the one that, you know, everyone, like, oh. you know, the cool one people have tried to be and such. Yeah. It, it's, it's my mind. Lucinda's it's literally perfect. Perfect. I'm okay. I mean, I, I of course have yes. on multiple occasions. Particularly I'm, I also before. agree that Lucinda is perfect. Yeah, I, I know that I'm vastly outnumbered here, even though there's only two of you. <laughs> well, because the Lucinda, I know Lucinda. She's got the brains. I think that's about it. She's got the body. She's a square. <laughs> okay, okay, but later square. on, she's not a square. <laughs> Uh, to be fair, I did just get done with talking to Quadzi, who apparently has a crush on Pop, of all people, so that's not the weirdest thing I've heard this week. <laughs> that's like but having a crush on Draco, very, and tons of people have crushed on Draco. Yes, much to, uh, much, much to their own personal misfortune. And Bakugo. Bakugo is so crushworthy. Yes, in the sense that... Don't listen, crush I don't like opposing. men. I don't like men, so Bakugo can... You know, go wherever you are. I mean, even if I did I'm... like men, I still would hate Bakugo, so that's fair. I don't like men either. None of us like men. Okay. I... okay. <laughs> okay. So, so you, you know, you have... Bear in mind, I'm pretty sure you have a boyfriend, but okay. Hmm? Anyway, yeah, we'll just leave that let's continue on with the episode. Yes, why not? And one only lasted a day. That's because I didn't know what I wanted! Who did? <laughs> yeah, so that's not really saying much then, is there? And also, my only lasted a day. That's not really saying much. You also but have my point still stands. that last a month into adulthood. Might I remind you that you kidnapped a man and kept him in your room? That wasn't a relationship! She yeah, just but it never him. gets addressed. I mean, well, actually, no. It it, it did it did in season one because Afmal told Kawaii Chan to like re, like you know dial it back for Reese and actually you know behave normal if she wanted any sort of chance with him. Didn't that happen? And also, Reese did Chan told... kidnapped Reese. No, uh, no, but that was episode two. Kidnapped Reese in episode two. Reese himself didn't even hold the incident against her. You know, he was just like, oh well, I'm so glad I had two beautiful women to take care of me. You know. You know, I would have held, I would have held it against her, though. Well, yes, I but that's the thing about that's the thing about Reese is that he's the, he's the forgiving type, and he's the, and he's super nice and such. Heck, he's more perfect than Lucinda, isn't that regard? Friends, um, remember Damien? That was over as fast as it happened. Yeah, that was bad that's writing. Damien was actually good for Kawaii Chan. I said it before, Kawaii Chan and Damien, and I didn't see an issue with them until they actually brought up the argument and such that happened out of literally nowhere. Then uh, we needed a re the, the writers are all just sitting in a room and they're like, we need a reason for these two to break up. You don't need a reason to break yeah, up. Like, you could just like drift. 
And it's like, hmm, we've had an entire season of build-up for these two. And, uh, but of course, the thing is that, um, you know, Zane Chan should be a thing. So, of course, we're just going to go yeet and just cross his name out of the script. That's what yes. happens. Yes. Reese, I never got with him. Yeah, but you danced Thank around you. him a lot. That was an improvement, but that doesn't explain what happened with Damien. Damien is so spicy <sighs> I'm not saying that having multiple relationships is a bad thing. It's not. You're allowed to fall in love as many times as you please, but... That's a good lesson. Keep in mind, if you're looking for something serious with Zane, you may want to, you know, calm down and take it slow. Yeah, I need to that... calm down. You're being too loud. <laughs> I'm sorry, like quiet. That and uh, Zane. Zane is a special kind of a human. You kind of need to go slow with him. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And it's just, I don't want to see you rush into this. I don't want to see you get hurt. And I don't want to see Zane get hurt either. Wow, someone actually finally cares about Zane and talks about from it from Zane's perspective. Not what even Zane's we... parents care about Zane. Yeah, what? what the heck? Doesn't Lucinda like go back on this a little later by saying like something I... like a, it's like a sarcastic comment to Zane himself? I, I don't know. We'll we'll see. We'll see. Lucinda, I have to think about this. Thanks. I think I'm gonna take a walk. No, she needs the deets. Quiet, you yeah. gave I'm her sorry, no I... deets. Oh, I shouldn't <laughs> have said anything. Well, so... she, she sort of did get the deets. Well, that was like that was like basic. That's like that was small talk deets. That's not that. That's nothing. I hope she thinks about it. I want her to be happy. Oh, trust me. When I talk to you about Monster Compendium later, I'm going to spill the fucking beans. I'm gonna be all over the floor. Okay. I mean, fair enough. It's not like I haven't been doing the same thing for three years. If Zane makes her happy, that's all I want. <laughs> oh, actually, speaking of Minecraft Diaries, you know, Kawhi and Lucinda have come a long way since, since that interaction because, you know, they used to hate each other. Hey, you there! Huh? I'm so sorry to bother you. I wanted to ask, are you Zane's girl? Zane doesn't want another person with ghost behavior towards him. I think Lucinda gets him. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, well, well she saw what ghosts did to him at, at first and all of the, you know, moral implications of that scene that went over everyone's heads at the time. Girlfriend? What? Me? <laughs> no! no. Mm, but a part of me wishes. A very invasive clawing away part of me wishes i'm not Ugh, i thought you might have been her pretty plain yes you have this sort of air of young female to you that really <laughs> implies you could be dating my son <laughs> boring what, what did you say nice to meet you see you later excuse me god, what? Is, god is just embarrassing himself in this episode who was Whatever. I don't want to get riled up and cause ghosts to come out. I'll say you should at that, at that point. What Lucinda said, is it true? I mean, yeah. Oh look, the most anime-like girl is having an internal monologue. I've had boyfriends in the past, but I never let them get as close to me as Zane has. Wait, so... None of your actual boyfriends got close to the, to the guy that you're dating right now. I guess you are taking a little bit slower, but... Except for Damien. Well, because no one knew her name. That's also true, yeah. That was that was before they started, so... so I, mean, I mean, she has had a lot of time to think to think this through. People keep, keep on complaining about Zane Chan being rushed and whatever in the actual series, but it really wasn't. There were hints going back as far as season two, so... Yeah, honestly, that she's had a lot. She's had a lot of time to mull this over. Maybe this time she actually does know what she wants. Right? I feel like they were a little bit of hinting no, Phoenix drop not... high. They never met in Phoenix drop high. No, nah, no. Nah. But like the development was there because Zane's like subconscious was like, I like um, 
Shoot, what is Kawhi Chan? Mifwa. Oh, you're talking yeah. about the time that he lied to Afmao about his crush. Yes, but it was like subconscious. He was literally just making that up and <laughs> and he completely denied it was Kawhi Chan twice, actually, because Afmao then dressed up Kawhi as with a mustache and come and came back later. Yeah, yeah. But he knew it was Kawhi Chan, so he was embarrassed. Why? Because he denied it zero. twice, and two no's make a yes. They've had zero interactions. <laughs> they had not, 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 not even a conversation about that point. I did not even know if actually Kawhi Chan knew who Zane was until possibly year three, when, when you know, he got, becomes the other Shadow Knights and does the whole thing that we never actually get to see at all. Another unresolved plot. I line, think she did know who Zane was. Because I think she mentioned Garth's younger brother once. I mean, but yeah, assuming it could have been Vlad. Vlad. Probably wasn't. Yeah, it usually was all like how they talk about. Yeah, they, they forget about Vlad. So it might, it most likely was Zane. But again, giving someone, giving right? someone a passing, giving someone a passing mention and referencing them as Garth's younger brother does not a connection imply. I can I can I can hardly imagine her writing in her in her stereotypical teenage diary, Mrs. Gareth's younger brother. It just doesn't seem likely to me. So I'd say hmm. season two, you know, that's plenty of time to think about that, especially when she's all grown up and again would have figured out more of what she wants. Good old fashioned itch. Love, I'm sure of it. I'm sure that's just Lucinda's idea of how fast a relationship should move. Everyone must have different definitions of how that happens, right? Yes, Kawhi Chan, that is actually correct. I must know! Never. You move quite fast for a lot huh? of people. How quick should a relationship go? Hmm. Well, I mean, when I was younger, they moved fast. But <coughs> as I got older, they got slower. <coughs> really? I feel the opposite. Really? Because I don't see that. What is that supposed to mean? I mean, well, Eric, pretty sure you said if you played your cards right, Afma and Katie would have been sisters. So I suppose in that regard, you know, maybe you were, you were a little bit too slow for her. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> maybe we're not the right people you should be asking, sweetheart. Actually, they, they confirmed what she actually already thought. The people had different definitions. That right there was a perfect example. Hmm. Well... I was in two rooms. Oh, hey, Doc is in this episode. You know who also, is in this episode? Any of Kawhi Chan's ex boyfriends. Also, um, I got from the feeling that uh, Sylvana, uh, Sylvana slowly looked at him. They're totally going to have a fight about this. Oh, yeah, most always. Likely. Relationships before, I guess they were fast. I don't know. Hmm. Does that mean you actually dated Blaze or not? Deets, please. I was too chicken to tell her, so I'd rather have had it go fast than not at all. I mean, I guess she wasn't actually canon, so, you know, that's fair, Rylan. <laughs> In case someone missed that, that's, I feel from us to June. Um who was a, a character who only appeared in the mini games actually, because that's not a storyline for the world pubs, I guess. I'm not sure how that worked. But it was one of the first examples of something that Afmark does more to this day, which is including a few new characters every now and then that don't have any don't have any connection to uh, to any of the other canon past and such as a way to spice things up. Insert Afmal's younger sister Afia here as the uh, example that comes to mind. What was the question again? <sighs> Gotta go fast. I mean, how else are you gonna find the right person for you? Oh, so I guess, so Dottie said relationships were fast in the past, and Blaze says gotta go fast. Does that mean... Ah, ah Daniel and Blaze. I can dream. Wait, hmm. you say, wait, did you say Daniel and Blaze? I was talking yeah. about Dottie. I was referring to Dottie because you said about... I know, and I said, before. nah, Daniel and Blaze. No. Yeah. Their personalities totally contrast with each other. Yeah, then again, so does Zane and Kawhi Chan in certain ways. Not in others, though. No, nah, because Zane and Kawhi Chan have My Little Ponies. Sort of? I I guess. I mean, Zane did buy a Queen of the Mothra. Mm. 
I think I prefer still slow. Has his collection I, at home. Yeah, I was more afraid. Yeah, but yeah, no. Big love of cute things and of course baked goods and all the bonding that's done. I don't know. There's a, there's still a there's a possibility that Blaze and Daniel could have bonded over you know Blaze's assistance of all of the alphas in the past and you know helping Daniel be more confident in his position when that came around. So possibly after the series. But in the actual series, Dottie and Blaze do have a little bit more of like a sort of a hint towards each other, especially from Dottie's perspective. So that's why I was thinking about that. Specific. Well, because Daniel's portrayed as everybody's younger brother. So that would include Blaze then in that regard. So you just. Yeah, which leaves him no room for actual romance. Blaze so was. And your entire argument is nullified then. Blaze was. Well, you're talking to about how, how like. Confirms. In, how like in the actual show, Dottie and. Uh, Dottie and Blaze, Blaze, um, <laughs> have more like going. Yeah. But if Daniel like wasn't as close with Aphmau and stuff, but like still had his whole personality, that would work out much better. Because basically, he got adopted as Aphmau's younger brother, which made him everybody's younger brother. Okay. So okay. So what you're saying is that instead of instead of it being like Daniel and Blaze bonding like after the events of the, of the series it's like before the events of the series but you know if he wasn't so far around and of course assuming of course that you know he doesn't he does he doesn't stay as surfer boy daniel for no reason but again uh, that whole thing was a bit weird also yeah. guys, while i was searching for reference pictures of ian um i found a lot of ian and daniel content yes there's that and then there's blazing blay blian blian I mean, I've heard plenty of people try and do fan fictions for that, so I suppose. Um, but also, oh, I'm um, actually, you know what? Uh, Kian. You, you know what I'm going to say? I'm not like, giving it some thought. I'd, I'd say, I'd say, um, Darcy and Blaze regular, but also you could have argued in the alternative universe, Blaze and Surfer Boy Daniel. Because Surfer Boy Daniel had a little bit more of an aggressive streak to him, which would match Blaze. There's also yeah, Blaze and Marissa. Mar Marissa, what? I mean Melissa. No, no, no. The other werewolf. Oh, Maria. Maria. Oh, I mean, kind of. I can, I can sort of see that. Again, maybe after the events of the series. That are getting into a relationship again. That is. Better. I'm kind of happy just watching Aaron and off Mal from afar. Yeah, take note of that line, get creator. A lot of the fun without the consequences, <laughs> you know. And it was this moment that doomed them all. Yes. Yes. In fact, you could say I'm their number one. Hey, quite yet. No, you couldn't. Yeah, thank you, Zane. Thank you for putting an end to that, because that was almost... We almost saw claws there. That would have been so much fun. We, al we almost... Saw, yeah, we almost saw big move Kawaii chan you know, when she was voiced by an actual cat sound effect and beat up Gareth and Lawrence both at the same Wait. time. Wait. She was voiced yeah. by a cat? Yeah, she was like cat stock sound effects. You don't remember that from the big move. All they they didn't they hadn't cast Moika yet, so the only sound effects for Kawaii Chan were just like cat sounds. So they <laughs> So yeah. It's the first the voice actor of Kawaii Chan was literally a dogs. stock cat. It's also a fun fact, makes her similar to Bowser in a way. Because Bowser's first official voice actor was a leopard. That's where you get like the the uh no thing from Mars people. Zane! Can we continue this another time? Hmm? Um sure. Thanks! Hey, hey Zane! Do you think we can go somewhere private? Yeah, sure. Great! I need oh. to talk to you about something. Over here! I'm glad you can say we need to talk. Did I talk about something? There's a good difference. Wait, there's um, Daniel oh, and Ian? Wait a wait. second. Oh, wait, no, I forgot. There's a bonus for that. Wait, there's Daniel and Ian? Their personality clashes with each other. They ain't compatible with each other. Am I hearing this correctly? A soft boy ex bad boy trope in the fandom. I mean, no, they're bound to exist. I mean, yeah, who would ever. You know, who would ever expect 
a soft boy and bad boy to be a, a soft character and a bad character to be compared to each other in an Afmal series. Who would have wow. that Who knew that exist? anime tropes would exist in an anime series? Especially one written by somebody who very clearly has a thing for bad boys. And YA fan fiction. Yeah. It's it's not it's not like the main character has been has been shipped with Lawrence, Dante, Travis, Jean, Ian. It's not like it's not like <laughs> the main care it's not like the main character used to talk to a Levi poster or anything. <laughs> Not like it's not like she called the Levi poster senpai or anything. Wait, hang on. Wait, actually, I haven't seen Attack on Titan. Is Levi the bad boy in the series? I have no idea. Oh. Um, no. Basically, Levi I is... Either, so. I have... I've seen the first season. I skipped the second season. <laughs> okay. Basically, Levi is essentially the strongest soldier humanity has left against the Titans. So, Aaron. Okay, Levi's Aaron. Perfect. We, we solved it. Well, Levi well, is Aaron. Yes, to a point. I Levi thought you were talking is... about Aaron, like from. Uh, shoot, what's it called? Attack on Titan. Because there's oh, no, also that's... Aaron in Attack on Titan. Oh, no, you're like... talking about like Aaron Yeager. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, the other main character. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Levi is. Yeah. Levi is short, but he's in a position of power and he has a little bit of a tood. And also yeah, drink. Levi's five foot five. All right. Oh, Levi is still taller than I am. And shorter than Napoleon. Uh, anyway, I was shocked to hear the shift between Ian and Daniel. I haven't seen that in the in this fandom. I was not shocked. I but I too have not seen it, and I do not want to. That's not an invitation, Maya. <laughs> That's not an invitation. Okay, new track, fine. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. <laughs> what know. are you doing? Oh, is there like a transparent? Oh, I just saw someone walk underneath the pool. I was like, oh, yeah, it was Zayn and Kawhi Chan. I just noticed could that. You... Oh, wait, that means someone could like spy on their conversation by watching from the pool. Could you imagine that? Well, they wouldn't be able, unless they're like a professional lip reader, I doubt they could hear the sound. But it was also the haha, they're right under your nose, is Garte. Yeah. This one B. <laughs> There's no way. She's at least a nine, and Zane's like a two, but. Can we just oh, not you're... have Garte on screen for the rest of this episode? Is you're damn right, wrong? she's a nine. Maybe. But why are you looking at a girl who's clearly younger than you? I think he means, like, in a more like a, like, like, operative, like, you know. Like he just, probably just produces magazines, sense. so he knows what a nine is. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think he's looking like he's looking objectively, basically. Come on, he's a married man. Excuse yeah, me, young too. lady. Huh? Young lady, she's like. Uh, oh, hey, yeah. you're Mr. Romave. Garte, and haven't I seen you somewhere before? Pro Most likely. Probably. I deal in potions, so I've been around a lot of people. Do a lot of people buy potions in this universe? I mean, I know that some people do, but... Well, like yeah, have you seen... Well, they used to be in the potion business. Well, yes, I know he did. Yes, that's true. I guess he would have had to have a lot of clientele to in order to actually support that. Unless the potions economy was, like, you know, he was expensive. So they maybe maybe, like, potions maybe potions schools. are, like... Maybe potions are the equivalent of goop, where everything's super expensive. Except they actually oh. work, unlike goop products. Anyway. Why did you need to remind me of Goop? I don't know. It's taken my mind off Garte in this episode. I know nice. if we can get him off screen. We should take the Realm Breaker and send him off to another dimension, just like Michael and his followers. All right. Well, in that case, um, I'll break out. I'll break up my Ocean Dove Vegeta impression right now. Enjoy your stay in the next dimension. God. <laughs> also, I also want Garte off my screen. Yeah. All right, I we'll see. You know, hmm. you think he'd be a loving would... supporting father, but apparently no. We're just gonna skip that. Well, no. This, that's just the thing. Most of the most of the parents in my street get get a little bit better as time goes on. Even though even the really bad ones, they actually learn from the air of their weight and they. Yeah, I take out worse. Exactly. That's what I was getting <laughs> at. That was my punchline. I have remembered you. Either way, I need to ask you: Are you dating my son? Zane. <laughs> See, at least she knows that 
you know, he's talking about Zane right now. And not everyone's going to assume it's Gareth. Also, again, that neck is still distracting me now. <laughs> no way. You've oh, got the wrong girl. Get Gareth? I see. Then would you be interested in dating my son, Garth? Wait, is that what he's... Is that his plan? Just think... Wait, wait, but it wasn't his plan before because he didn't try that with Kim. Yeah, but he also said oh. Lucinda's a 9 and he thinks Garth is a 10. Okay, so I guess maybe Kim wasn't attractive enough for Garth? Is that what we're getting at here? Yeah, he called Kim boring and plain. That doesn't... I, I, yeah, that doesn't necessarily mean that is he boring and plain looking as well? I don't. I really don't know. Well, Maybe... it was based off of looks. Oh, I suppose. Well, in that case, how dare you, Garth? Eh? Kim and Garth have more chemistry than Garth and Lucinda ever did. Don't you they like become a thing? <laughs> they really do. They have more of a connection, with Kim and Garth. Like I Ugh. don't think they do because that was... what, like I don't than... like she's and still Lucinda. canonically dating Lawrence. No, I think she was, meant to go on, she was meant to go no. on a date. With, I meant with Kim. That, that never went anywhere. That's the thing. Another unresolved plot line. I'm not even sure if the date actually even took place, after all. No, thanks. Lucinda, she gets together with Kenza. Like, I'm still... Hmm? Mm -hmm. What? Did I you think say I just said Lucinda should date Cadenza. I did. Should... Okay, I guess. Maybe? Are they friends? Um, I don't know, but they have like, they, like their personalities would match, sort of thing, sort of. Oh yeah, true. Yeah, they've got they've got fashion uh, in common in common. You know, Lucinda being the stylish witch that she is. I, I mean, broke yeah, why, why not? Honestly, yeah, I can see that. <laughs> yeah, um, I like the Garth and Kim ship. They, I thought they'll eventually have a relationship after what they've gone through the Lodge and Starlight. Yeah, like I said, they have more of like an actual connection, be it a friendship connection. I or thought otherwise. they got together at the became, lodge. Garth and, Kate and Kim became super close super quickly. No, yeah. they he didn't. didn't. Get... So I just say also, that they didn't get together at the lodge. Also, as a little bit of um, as a little bit of a, a little bit of a tidbit here, actually, uh, Garth did in fact one time say that Kim had gone hot. So I'll I'll leave that as like an extra little sprinkle in there. But does Garth like toast? Hmm. No, he wasn't oh. joking. No, I said, wouldn't Garth have to like ghost as well? No, they're different people. But they share a body. Like, ah, ghost well, could just be like pretending to be Kim and like screw it up so bad. Well, actually, uh, well, actually, you know, I've known people who have actually dated two different alters in a set as in one DID system. In fact, you know them too. Wait, really? Yeah, it's possible to do so. I didn't know that two of them were dating the same person. Well, that, well, that, but that's the thing. Alters don't count as the same person. No, no, that's no. The, that's the thing with the yeah. yeah Not the, I meant two alters. I meant the two alters were dating different. People. The same person. Oh, okay, never, it works. It, never it mind. Works. No, that's not what I'm saying. I said two people were dating two different alters in the same system. Okay, yeah, that makes more sense. I was like, I couldn't remember ever hearing about that. Yeah. Also, can I just say, um, you know, Kim dating Garth might have been a really good way to get Ghost to leave her body because I'm pretty sure, in the words of in the words of the great prophet of our time, Soccer of the Water Tribe, um, that would give people a major case of the Oogies. <laughs> oh, and he's good looking and strong. No, not interested in anyone right now. He's not strong Why by not? his own will. Got cheated on with someone I thought I was going to be with forever. Yes, that was in high school. Get over it, please. Christ. I, look, I've been cheated on as well. I understand it, but good lord, don't let it weigh you for your entire life. Or you'll always be in this situation. Ever since then, I just kind of... Oh, I'm, uh, sorry. Mm. Yeah, Garte, now leave. It's no problem. Garte, there you are. I'm still mad at you. But I wanted to let you know we're almost at the dock of the resort. Oh, hi, Lucy. Hi, Mrs. Romave. Is, is it weird to me that no one's ever called her Lucy before? You That's what I was her. thinking. I mean, I make it a point to know the people our son stayed with at the lodge, you know. And or just their friends in general, quite frankly, because you invited them all to dinner very quickly. Not Lucinda, but, you know, other friends. 
No oh, right, launch. Uh, I'll be right back. Jump overboard. He's running away as if he was like hitting on her or something. No, he he wasn't hitting on her. If I know, anything... I know, but he's running away as if he was. Oh, yeah. I don't, I don't think I don't think Ziana's gonna suspect that. I think she knows that he's loyal. Trust me, Lucy. He has more redeeming qualities. Yeah, should I, sure I sincerely that? hope so. Because right now he's exhibited none of them in this episode. I really, yeah. He's just bad at showing them 90% of the time. Mm. Why do I get the impression that when Luci that when Ziana met Garte, she said to herself, I can change him. And is still working on that, <laughs> like, decades oh, later. No. Oh, and Maya says in, in chat, he's not redeeming enough to overcome a memory spell. Well, then again, no one is, because Travis happened. I wish I could just tell her what happened at the lodge, but I'm not sure what she would do if I told her. Then don't monologue about it. She then shouldn't might not you want know the people who read the lodge better? Again, I just wish none of that happened. You know, interior... Akmo, darling, you know interior monologues exist, right? Yeah, they can, as in, like, interior, they happen on the inside. You don't have to, like, do a Shakespeare-style soliloquy for the entire for the entire people around to hear. <laughs> well, when it's Garte, his brain's a little over here, and everyone else's is a little over here. Yeah. When it comes I reckon, to... You know, I, I reckon that if cinema had existed in the days of Shakespeare, he would have used internal monologue and, like, you know, actual thoughts, speech versus actually put they having someone say something on stage because that's a stage limitation that got over with film we don't need to go backwards and go back to the stage for that yeah but shakespeare mm. well okay yes we know that Athena's a shakespeare fan well to some extent anyway i'm not sure how much of that is how, how <laughs> much like, fan she really is if you know only mentions romeo and juliet nah yeah. not a true shakespeare fan no she's she's, she's a casual so, um, what did you want to talk about? Well, um... I... Wow, she sat him down first for this. That, 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 that tells you she's serious. I was wondering... We've been on a date, and I was wondering when you think... I love the fact that she's gone about as pink as her hair right now. That's the kind of thing that I was bet like, in a book description. Like, you know, kawaii chan said going as pink as her hair was, or something like that. I, you, know. you might be ready to become official. What? Like, boyfriend and girlfriend? I mean, I don't think I'm ready. For a relationship? No, that's... no, that's not it. It's just... Am I easy? No, you're... You're really not easy. easy at all. Okay, do you want me to be honest, honey, or do you want me to be honest, honey? Well, we're gonna hear what Zane has to say. Oh! <sighs> this is the hardest thing I've ever had to do! Uh, I just break out the chocolate bar already, we know you're gonna do it. Think, Zane, okay. think! This is the first time I've talked about anything like this! What should I say? I don't know what to say! You choked on your mask. Mal. Call F Mal, can we... <gasps> I have a candy bar! There it is. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I can't talk. Candy bar. Did you? are not supposed to eat it all at once, otherwise it doesn't last you. See, even though it's a terrible thing to do to someone, even though I know to do it properly. Just. Oh hey! Look, we should go and get ready to get off the boat. Oh look at that! I guess you could say, the ship sailed too quickly. I wish I had a button for the CSI Miami theme. I, I wanted to press that right now and just be like, just have that play. Dang it. Hold on. Oh, you have it? No, I actually have a gag for this. Hold on. I need to find it. Okay. All right, then. <laughs> My Street, Five Digital will be back after these messages. <laughs> Do you find yourself in terrible relationships constantly? Do you think that anything that attracts you to a person is how much you can actually change them? Or the fact they have actual work to do and something, giving you part much of your purpose? Well, congratulations, must be dating Draco. <laughs> but Draco 
Sika was so cool. Uh, introducing the new service, Sika to Ship, where we get over, where we, where you get contact with an actual, with a licensed fan fiction therapist to talk to you about why you actually ship certain characters. What does it say about you as a human being? <laughs> And how to work past it into actually into a, a healthy style of life. God, and you know, counter attack. They're cute. Yeah. I, I'm not. I'm not going to do the meme anymore. <laughs> oh, I'm, I was doing the advert so we have time for it. God, let's just continue. <laughs> also, probably was a nice pun. There you go. Oh, we were gonna. Here, nice chocolate. I really want to. Did he just like throw that at her face? <laughs> Chocolate! <laughs> no one! Aaron and Aphmau are probably doing something cute at the house. Ooh, really? Ha, yeah, and I'd really love to talk with you about it over dinner. Maybe we make dinner. Yes, that would be wonderful. I'll go get the groceries right away when we land. I need to unpack. Whew. Well, that actually worked. Maybe I... Should have just told her I needed more time. You literally said you weren't ready. How else do you interpret that other than when someone's not ready for something, it means they need more time. That's how it works. Fool. I was just caught up. No idea what to do. What do I do the next time, she asks. So dinner? Maybe if I kiss her, it will distract her better. Okay, so this reminds me a lot of um, of SAO Abridged. I'm sure that Ghosty can confirm what I mean by this. Particularly, you know, oh, yeah, episode 9, or episode 10, really, actually, as a fallout God. of that. You know, when, when they are up, they've gotten married, and they think that getting married was a too quick decision. And they can't bring themselves to talk about it or admit it to themselves. They play mind games for 20 minutes of screen time <laughs> involving an actual child. This is why communication is important. And not to mention, but they also actually do the thing where they actually, you know, where um, I think it was Kirito like brings Asuna in for a kiss when she's asking too many questions, like freaking out the fact that he said that getting married might have been a mistake. They just like make out for a while. It's like, what happened? Oh, my, they even know your room. And they start like making make out and crying to themselves. God. Basically, watch Fort Iron Bridge. It's amazing. We're here! Uh -huh. Can I come in? No. At least she asked this time, though. That's, that's progress. Uh, 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 no! Why not? Because, uh, we're busy! Or, you know, you're not decent. I see, I was saying I'm not decent, but then again, Aaron has shown us all the time, so I'll be saying much. Whoa! I get ya. All right, also, I'll leave you crazy um, kids alone. I was about to say, Aaron could say that they're not decent, but then Melissa would get the wrong message twofold. And she didn't get the wrong message now. What do you... <laughs> I'm pretty sure as soon as Aaron said they were busy... I think she used, she used to guess that, you know, those pups she's looking for might have been in formation at this part. At this I point. know, but twofold, meaning indecent. Well, yes. Yes, I'm, I'm aware. The, the end result is exactly the same. Hey, is that a gift basket? Ooh, it's got a toothbrush. Totally cool. I forgot mine. Yay! <sighs> And what have you been using when you were up oh, This isn't good. If everyone's here and she's still transforming, there's no way I'm gonna keep everyone out. This is gonna be a pain. Oh, I forgot about that. 
they were so clear about it in the, at the beginning of the episode. Athma's taken to Wales, but you can buy a cat. Look, I thought they were I'm flattered you responded to me, Caitlin. I honestly wasn't expecting a reply. It's no props. I had no other plans. Really? Is there not a lot to do on the island? Well, there's a lot to do, but Caitlin's been accused of being bored. Uh, it depends. There are chill things to do here, but Travis and I have done quite a few of them. Speaking of Travis, thanks for joining us, man. You're welcome! <laughs> the cinematography on that alone is amazing. Um, I'm sorry for stealing Caitlyn away from you. Oh, I mean, you haven't. He's right there. Trust me, that's why I'm here. What? <laughs> Nothing! So why'd you come here, Kai? I mean, to Starlight. Well, my friend recently got divorced. Wow. We just went through this last episode. We know the answer. The kind of people you hang out with? His wife cheated on him. Are very lucky to have you as a friend. We wanted to get him out for the summer, you know? Though he's kind of going crazy here. Yep, I could tell. Sorry about that again. Uh, that's not a problem. Relationships can be tricky. <laughs> tell me about it. I've been looking myself and haven't had much luck. Oh, you have? This place isn't the place you want to look, then. You know, he's kind of not wrong for the most part. I'm a little nervous about it. Travis isn't Why? normally just, Why? like, flat out wrong. Travis just has, like, not-so-great motivations most of the time. Okay. <laughs> I suppose. So, I guess he's like the kind of cat who does the right thing for the wrong reasons. Yes. But he knows what the right thing is. I suppose. Are you saying that Travis is neutral evil? No, I was saying no. Travis was kind of smart. All right. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> I don't think. A, I, I don't to think Dungeons like and Dragons this. joke. Yeah. All you gotta do is go up to a gal, ask if she's interested. No playing around. Just ask her straight out. Actually, if anything, I would say Travis is neutral good. Actually. Nah, that would scare so many <laughs> people like away. A... Like they don't even know who you are. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I think you know, going to the fan base is a blessing if they don't know who Kai is. So easy, Caitlin. You should try it. Hmm. How about asking that girl? Well, that girl is making out with that guy, so I don't think that would be a good idea. Wait, what? Wow. <laughs> Ew, they are making out. Caitlin. What? I mean, it'd be one thing if they were just kissing, but they're flat out making out. Ugh. What's the matter, jealous? I can't believe... Wait, why do they look familiar? Hey, now that oh, you've mentioned... Oh, no. Wait a minute. I think, is, it, is, it, is it who I think it is? Wait, it could be her parent. Wait. I was going to say, it... I, I was going to say, I was thinking Eric and Silvana, because we had a season two parallel situation where actually that exact same thing happens and Afro and Arrow discovered Eric and Savannah are making out and that was the reveal of that they were there and they were also dating. They do look familiar. No. Oh, okay. It's Saint Chan. Fine. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank goodness. We've already had like two pairs I think lovey dug about their children this episode alone. Let's not do it again, please. Ugh. You know what? The pink one looks familiar to me too. Hmm. Of course, you would know her from Mifa Club, I, I guess. I don't know. Mifa Club? Yeah, Mifa Club's a thing. Kawaii chan? Huh? I think I heard my name. I. Didn't we stop? Caitlin! <laughs> and Travis? Hello. <laughs> I know, but Hi. he's more scared of Caitlin than he is of Travis. I suppose, yeah. He just, he just found out hates Travis. That's Zane! Wait, shouldn't Travis have known Kai from high school? No, in He was fact, never really around him. He knows Yeah, in all fact, him. I don't think they've ever met. Because well, no, no, I he, thought Travis... that Kai met Afmao, like, at lunch. But isn't lunch when clubs are? So wouldn't Afmao have also been with Vlad and Travis? No, well, okay, the not lone buddies aren't an official club. In fact, we know they're not because you have to because in Phoenix Drop High, there's a rule you have to have five members for an official club, so they couldn't have been. Oh, I thought it was four. Whatever. Oh wait, no. The, oh no, 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 it wasn't because remember, you know, had the the Infinity Club needed Kiori to take part, otherwise they would actually have four. You know, so that's why. No way, Travis, hold my drink. 
This is who is like loses it at Zane, and I thought it was Lucinda. Mm -hmm. This uh, makes more sense. It's best we don't get involved. Um, I disagree. This is actually Caitlyn's worst character trait: how possessive she gets over her friends. Someone should really stop her. This happened with with Aaron and Aphmau constantly in season two. Let's not go back to it. Mm. Wait, hasn't Aphmau so... intervened before? Actually, usually Aphmau was the subject. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, like, you know Aphmau doesn't is... take it. She, like, fights back. Well, I mean, that's good, but it clearly did not dissuade her for quite some time. Seeing anyone? I'm going to the bathroom. <laughs> oh, okay. Why, Chan? <laughs> You're here on, on the island? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> well, I am so happy to see you. I, I, I need to know... Uh, why are you making out with him? Also, how was your camping trip that you lied about? Well, um, we're dating. What? Since, since when? Since a while ago. Like, why, Chad, you and Zane, how? We have more in common than you think. I, yeah. I just <laughs> I didn't see this coming. I do love how Zane is the one to put the smack down, especially when, especially when she's going insane. <laughs> um, isn't it great? Why, Chen? <laughs> you aren't rushing things, are you? Oh my word! Just be happy for her, please. You ruined it. No. Um, Caitlin, Zane and I have to go. Well, um, have dinner to cook. Ah, so they're on their way to dinner, but of course just could not keep their hands to themselves or their mouths off of each other. Oh, well. Kawaii-chan, hey, maybe we can catch up sometime? Sh sure, see you later, Caitlin. Well, that was brief. That's gonna have to dawn on Kawaii Chan as well, the fact that two of her closest friends both have the same idea of her that she rushes into things. Well, she does. <sighs> it's a habit of hers. Well, yes, that is true. But yes, it's, it's because like if one person mentions it, it's like, oh, well, okay, fine. But another independent party mentioned it with no problem whatsoever, you start thinking about it more. Maybe I shouldn't have come off so hard. Eh, you're yeah, still you working think? on it. Uh, Travis, hey. I have to admit, I did not see that coming either. Yeah, uh, we'll talk about it later. Right now, let's get back to Kai. Are you sure? Maybe we should ignore Kai and go talk to Kawhi Jane and Zane. <laughs> oh yeah, just leave him there. That's, that's polite, Travis. Ha, <laughs> cute. Seriously, we can't leave Kai hanging like that. I mean, we can try. Seems pretty easy, just walk away. Yes, but he hasn't done anything yet. But Travis knows. Travis is just jealous. <laughs> That's the thing. I cut off the song yeah, too short. This I, time... I think I cut off the song too, too short. Let me just... There we go. I saw you dancing. Like, yeah, yeah. Look at those beautiful stars. I wanna drive a faster car. Okay, that's it. All right. <laughs> so that was Kawaii Chan's ex boyfriends, featuring absolutely zero of Kawaii Chan's ex boyfriends. We're in the thumbnail and the title. Wait, they were? Yeah. Yeah, the thumbnail is is Brees, Damien, and Zane, all surrounding Kawaii Chan and being like, and she's looking at them like, oh no. I've been crushed by the guilt of the sins of my past and work. <laughs> Two of them aren't even her ex-boyfriends. Exactly! Right? I mean, what we said before about Dante at the start of the stream, that makes more sense than bringing up Reese. I mean... Well, I, I, you know... Who was the Zane. prince? Who was what, sorry? Kawaii Chan dated this prince. Yeah, Reese. Well, I mean, oh, no, okay, he didn't, okay. no, he didn't. She, no, she didn't date Reese. That was what we were talking about. Reese never. They never actually. That played. must have been a mini game then. 
okay, he was in a few fan fiction readings, but I don't think, I don't think he was. That was I don't think that ever like counted for anything. No, in fact, they didn't affect it. They didn't, in fact, actually date. Lucinda said it herself. They didn't actually date. Koi Chan just danced around him a lot. Exactly. In fact, again, a lot of season one's thing for Kawhi Chan, especially towards the beginning, was her getting enough courage to talk to Reese like a normal person or form, or form some sort of connection with him. Beyond, I guess, you know, just being the best clients of this, of this, you know, this business and pizza and such. I mean, we all know that season one of March had a lot of pizza in it, but that doesn't really count for much in this, in this particular case. So, yeah, but then, of course, Damien getting a mention. Yeah, that's he's the one I would have I would have focused on quite a lot. But then again, not too much because in this because the whole thing about Kawhi Chan rushing and such that comes up now, it wasn't really so predominant there. Like having looked back at the act of the whole build up of Kawhi Chan and Damien right now, it wasn't that quick. And also they were together for a somewhat significant amount of time. Like season three and a half they lasted for I lasted for most of that until like the last, last like four episodes maybe. I'm not sure how many there were before and we'll see if it happened, but there weren't that many. And they so, yeah. a random argument. Yeah, and yeah, exactly. And they had like they had like a really good connection. I will I will say it right now. I shipped it. I saw I saw nothing wrong with it. I mean, you know, Dane was a new character. They seemed to have an interest in Kawhi Chan, you know. Shot is shot, and actually, it, it, it ended up paying off for him. You know, that's as as happens. In fact, it was actually somewhat of a proof to me at the time that somebody could actually let's see develop a romance outside of their main friendship group, as would happen in real life for the most part. That might be the reason why some a lot of the cats are still singles because like they don't have any compatibility or as much compatibility with the people in the main cast. And thus, they get no one. Whereas Kawhi Chan actually broke the mold for that for, for quite some time. So Damien not only did not really have other issue, but he also represented something quite interesting. But no, Zane Chan had to happen, so here we are now. I wish he stayed in the main cast, though. Damien? Yeah. I mean, after uh, his break with Kawhi Chan, that sort of... After his breakup with Kawhi Chan, he sort of, that sort of severed his connection with the main cast because he was really around them because he was dating Kawhi Chan. So I can see why he left, really. But yeah, there was definitely more of a chance if he still stuck with Kawhi Chan to actually develop him. That's why I. That's why one of my when I used to, when I used to do Aftermath and What Ifs on this channel, I was considering doing one about what if Kawhi Chan stayed with Damien, finding ways to incorporate him back into the plot again. Who knows? I might return to that someday because yeah, who knows. I've got to get some use out of that beach that I just made, so, you know, maybe bring the bearing the what-ifs back to the main channel where they used to exist. I'm not sure. I'll think about it. But yeah, as for... Just do it. Okay, sure, why not? What if the white chance stayed with Damien? You'll see, you'll see why, I have, I'll see why that ship could have sailed for longer if they'd allowed it. Anyways, um... So, thoughts on the actual episode in question. Uh, who would like to start? Because Ghosty, Ghosty, I think you had, you said it's one of the least favorite episodes. No, uh, I would say it was one. Of, it is. It kind of sits in a middle ground for me. I don't find it particularly good, and I don't find it particularly bad. And I remembered why. God's dead. Yes. <laughs> So, th that yeah, I kind of agree with that because you know the, the the episode is full of you know actual lessons about about relationships and such, which people can actually take not only into their own fictional couplings and such, but also into real life and life itself. And having Kawhi Tan be the vessel for that is actually perfect, considering how much he ties into the voice of the fandom and also the appeal of fan obsession itself. And then of course there's Gate, which kind of cancels all of that out. Because contrary to popular belief, I thought Garte was like comedic relief because he just seems stupid. Well, yes, but remember that Aphmau has a whole history of just dumbing down characters slowly but surely just for the sake of comedy, and you don't need to do that for everyone. 
Okay, but Garte, like, is the extreme and is that character. I mean, well, he is now. I mean, we, have, we have not got anything really remotely similar to the dishwashing fairy situation. Yes, he had his eccentricities and such, you know, with his clashing colors and, you know, less than luscious locks, whatever Zane described him as before. But he still, but he still like retains a sense of, you know, general competence that made you think, oh, yes, this man might quite possibly own a conglomerate company. You know, I can see that happening. Well, oh, cool. the dishwashing fairy scene admittedly is an iconic moment of my street. And Akmal herself has said it in the past that it is one of her favorite jokes. I can sort of see why. In isolation, it's not too bad, except for the fact that it undervalues Ziana because he thinks they are certain type of incapable if they don't take after him, which shows quite a narcissistic personality, actually. Um, so when you think about it, it sort of ruins itself. But if you don't think about it, then go ahead and laugh, I suppose. If you don't think, laugh. That's basically <laughs> what you just said. If you don't think, laugh. I mean, yeah. <laughs> That's not true of all comedy, by the way, but in this case, it kind of is. Actually, you know what? A lot of the time in my street, I, I, I found that something in there, a lot of it actually is funnier the more you think about it and the more absurd it actually becomes. Like, meanwhile, I'm just thinking that, hey, in my own fact, in my own fiction, I want a character who's the opposite of Garte. A dad who is still dumb, but still knows how to dad. <laughs> or how to Garte anything. knows how to dad. He, like, makes money. He insulted his own son in this episode. <laughs> who cares? He gives them money. Well, that's not, that's not the, I mean, wow, then again, I know, but, like, like, I was going to say, I just, re I was about to say that's not, but, you know, the essence of parenting, but I just realized who I'm talking to right now. So, you know, I was also going to say if that's the only barrier for parenthood, then I guess my sperm donor gets upgraded to father. There you go. <laughs> well, I haven't like, heard I, anyone I call sperm, parents I guess sperm, sperm donors donation since is indeed Todoroki. Yeah. You're talking to someone who has never watched My Hero Aka. Uh, I have no idea who you're talking about. Uh, well, perhaps, yeah, you know, I need, I need to actually catch up on that because but it's been a long time since I've done, like, you know, the um, actual, that, uh, since I've done any sort of, like, reacting to it with people. I used to react to a bit with, like, you know, on Discord, particularly with, um, particularly with Mimi and Quadzi. Who knows? Maybe I might actually try. Uh, actually, try some sort of um, some sort of Twitch uh, series about My Hero Academia. I'm not sure, considering <gasps> that then I can actually try and see if I get around around YouTube and not claiming they're taking down the stream immediately, and then see how that goes with their check system. I don't know. It's possible. I still have. I still promised Josh that I was going to continue with them um, with Ruby, and so I guess that would come first, maybe. But I don't know. No, no, no. What comes first is Alpha Witch Academy. What? That's, that's what I mean. What? I'm talking about reactions. I'm talking about stream series, not Alpha Witch Academy. Al that Besides, should be the priority. I can assure you that Alpha Witch Academy is 100% being worked on. Yes. Uh, also, happy anniversary as... of the last happy a one year anniversary of the last episode being uploaded. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's been a year today since that has been a thing. But we maybe are that's why I'm it. thinking about it. Possibly. But yeah. I don't believe that your memory is that good. <laughs> Never who, was who to begin with. Who knows? But you, you know what? You know what? I'm, I guess this is a this is what you said about Yuri on Ice, that you, you announced something years after the, the last thing came out and people get excited. All yes, right. I am excited. I want the puppy love and eh, I could wait on the mutant girl. It's definitely not my favorite. Um, yeah. <laughs> Alpha Witch Academy. Actually, Mutant Girl is probably like my least favorite of your like role play series. Is hmm. interesting. Well, I, I guess but I'm I'm assuming you haven't watched Forges Pascal then, or Coming Out of Yellow. If that's the case. So what? Exactly. 
that was. Is one of those in Spanish? Because that's null and void. I would not be able to understand that. Well, it's named after a Spanish town, but it's actually like it, it, it is in English. It's actually the, the prequel of Tales of Zanikinov. It's Zanikinov's first. Oh, I forgot. I wasn't sure if that was a role play or if that was a Minecraft series. Like a oh, game. It's, it's definitely well. So Nick North is 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 definitely more of a role play. Basically, it's more of a role play than you know the gotcha stuff, which is you know fully scripted and acted. But you know as, as a traditional show. Okay. So Nick North definitely. So that, that was I like I knew yeah, there was. Nick a North is like more of a role play in the sense that I am acting that I am completely in character as like the main person improvising as I go along. Okay, and then what is the other one? I'm like blanking right now. I'm not sure. I'm not sure which one you'd be referring to there. Mutant Girl is at the bottom of my three. Puppy Love oh, no, is. Three. I'm just listing three right now, because I, I the three the only, that I've watched. I think, the, I think those are the only three like gotcha shows that I've actually posted specifically on here. I mean, obviously, you know, you could depends if you count Fallen Angels and stuff that I've actually worked on the writing for as, oh, you know. Oh, my back is really sweaty. Oh, I like, think I was thinking of Fallen Angels, honestly. I see. Fallen Angels is, like, in between, like, it's in third place. Because I still haven't gotten myself to finish it. Whereas Puppy Love is at the top, and Alpha Witch Academy is second. I mean, you know what? That's I can see why Puppy Love's at the top. I mean, of course, you put the gayest thing I've ever written as the as the first one. Of course, no, it's because I like shows about werewolves. Sure, that's the reason. Okay. Um, <laughs> all right. Hey, well, I didn't put Running with You at the top. That's true, but then again, we're talking about stuff that yeah, depends if you're counting stuff that I've worked on the writing for, or if you were just like like the ones that are. Although I also forgot about, about Running with You. <laughs> Uh huh. <laughs> That's like fourth place, actually. So Fallen yeah, Angels is better than Running with You. That makes sense. Because magic is cool. <laughs> I see, and that's up which I kind of yeah. You know what? That, that, yeah, that, when when you uh, when you think about the about the ratings, there it makes perfect sense. Your standards are low. <laughs> you have a low bar of entry. I don't have a bar of entry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my what yeah i watch I can... the my hero gotcha stuff sometimes you think i have a bar of entry oh that's a good point the my hero gotcha stuff is definitely very questionable i mean the show that itself is like... questionable at times but it's nothing compared to the gotcha but then there's dreary and dreary actually makes things worse somehow i don't know how because it's dreary it makes everything worse <laughs> anyway, but like usually I, I like the story, but Dreary Gotcha just really sucks. I mean, I uh, trust me. I I started reviewing um, changes by Rosie Closy before that. If it actually got it got listed, but actually, I'm just I'm pretty sure you can still find it somewhere. So I might continue that someday. But yeah, it's um, it's it's definitely. I actually it, it don't. I I reviewed it less as like a Dreary thing, like because. But the inaccuracies of the Harry Potter universe actually stood out to me more than anything as like a gotcha show. Like, I was going to do a dreary re-edit at one point, but there was nothing to re-edit. It wasn't salvageable. <laughs> oh my god, have you seen... No, wait, you haven't watched My Hero. Ugh. There's a My Hero time travel in gotcha that's actually pretty good. Oh. Okay, wait, send that over to me. I might, I might just Except watch I don't know what it's called, which is why I was going to ask if you guys had seen it. Oh. No! <laughs> I'm I don't even up. watch My Hero Aka. Why would I look up the gotcha of it? I'm, I'm sure that if we find it, I'm sure we search up My Hero Academia, like time traveling gotcha, someone, you know, that, that you'll find it. Either that well, There's or like a million of them. them. Either that's if you watch this on YouTube when it comes out months later, you'll be seeing everyone in the comments going, it's this thing, it's this thing. It's like, we probably know by now. It depends if we forgot or not. Yeah, I'm just because it's also it's like like you you go here. There are more results than I am able to load after scrolling down three times for just time travel. Gotcha, my hero. Yeah, you know, you know, you know. I, I, you know, I, I think I must get with Emily at some point to do some my hero gotcha in general because I mean. 
I did that one derby thing with her that, that one that one time. That was like a twenty second clip of, at best. That's nothing. Also, Dobby Deku, that's like soft boy, bad boy. I thought of that I, earlier when I saw the soft boy, bad boy stuff. I haven't, I, got the, I haven't got to the point the series where they actually meet each other yet, so I can't really confirm that or not. I don't know when they meet each other, actually. Yeah, because, <laughs> yeah, so know them. Usually in like the fan fictions, the way they meet is that All For One is Deku's dad, and Deku is like Shigaraki's younger brother sort of figure. What a what a, what a surprise that a member of the Todoroki family would 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 meet him when he's all my secret love child. What a shock! Anyway, no, uh, all I, my secret love child is like I don't I know. To, I just can't I, stand all might. I need to pick. I I need to pick um a Levi drink for this episode. So we'll we'll uh we'll discuss some more my hero stuff afterwards because you know why not? It's interesting. So I'm gonna I'm gonna award the uh, today's Levi drink to Lucinda. Who actually, um, who actually comes in clutch with the, uh, with with, uh, with with the advice and not and, and also reminds me of Aphmau in season one doing the exact same thing the exact same way, not the same advice but you know same delivery pretty much, which is which further gives credence to you know the value of season one even though it wasn't voice acted the characters still actually stood out and actually drew you in, you know, um, and also you know and. I guess I can do both, but I don't know. I'm trying to I'm trying to think of other stuff because I was gonna do that. I should have done that a while ago, but then you said, Oh, just you go back on this on the on the thing of well, of um, you know, valuing Zane or something like that. And she didn't so far. So I guess for the time being, we will do leave by drink. So we'll do Cinder. Who actually Meanwhile, okay. I'm just gonna say Woo Gote is the worst father. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I, you know, reverse Levi drink for him. I just like turn. Have the you met and, Zach? Like, spill it. Have I? Or okay. Derek? God is worse than in this. God is worse than yes. in this episode. Derek is worse than overall. But what about Zach? I don't know. Well, does well, he if, count? Really? Well, he, he does count as he a counts. dad, technically. Oh, good. He gave actually. The Michael is the worst dad ever. Is he a... I mean, oh, yeah, I guess, yeah. He must yeah. have been a dad because yes, it's his right. descendants, which means that yes. at some point I mean, in was, his life, he took over he his... Confirmed, he was confirmed to be Travis, Darius Travis's dad, so yes, that's fair. He took over his kid's body. Yeah, well, he took over the reincarnation of his kid's body, which, of course, yeah, brings the question to Perry in that situation. Anyway... Doesn't matter. Um, theories for another day. Okay, fine. You know what? I guess we can uh, we can say the worst dad award starts off with Derek, but ends with Michael. Oh, All right. No. I think that's okay. I, think that's a good place. I did when find is... that video, by the way, and sent it to you. I don't I watch it, My Hero like Academia, it. so sending it to me would be a useless endeavor. I didn't send it when... to you. Uh, I, okay. I know, I was making a pun. Nah, but right. you can judge it on a non-story standpoint. What's it called? Video? Video standpoint? Production standpoint? Yeah, I don't like, know. On its own individual merits. Yeah, I suppose you could do that. Oh, do you want me to look at this thing and judge its respective quality? Yes, you know judge what? it for yes. how bad it is. Hold up, let me send it to you too. Where is yours? Actually, I... that's actually that's what happens when we reviewed the Rosie Closie episode, because some people, because I was I was there with um with all the butter bunch, so what happened was most people were judging it on the individual merits of like the gacha itself. Meanwhile, I was judging on the adaptation perspective as a Harry Potter. Product. Uh, better to worse, uh, Elizabeth Zach Gatte. Michael oh, right. is Wait. the very worst. I thought that Andromeda was like telling us. Andromeda? You mean Andromeda? Andromeda. Okay, whatever. Reading is not the specialty. That's why I'm an engineering student. Yeah, and also why you're trying to write scripts. Anyway, um. That's what you gotta teach. I have spell crack. Spell check. 
Well, you know what? That's better than Aiden because he just ignores his spell check, apparently. No, nah, no. Nah, I use Grammarly and then I just hit yes for everything and it works. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. You know, Grammarly works. can sometimes like misinterpret what you're saying. It depends on where you're going with something. Yeah, I've noticed that. I lost a couple points on a few like essays here and there because I didn't reread it ever. <laughs> and there's God, yeah. how are you alive? <laughs> Um, I have friends, and they make sure I don't walk in front of cars when I'm like, "Yo, the road's clear," and start sprinting. Okay, we're okay. We're uploaded. We're we're um we're recording this, by the way. We're, we're streaming this on August twenty sixth, <laughs> and on August twenty fifth, Maya was complaining about about being a group of eight of her friends and how they all got so, got so drunk they weren't even allowed to actually you know they were they were barely able to walk back. Okay. But we weren't allowed to walk back. I woke up there. I was really confused because I just like passed out on their floor. Again. Great okay, friends. okay, 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 okay. When is the next episode? Okay, uh, Zach and Elizabeth, I don't think his life potential portions on them. Yes, I agree with that, but bear in mind, if Derek, you know, I'm pretty sure that Aaron would have been better off without Derek, quite frankly. So, you know, him being around was not a blessing in this case. I anyway, feel like someone next. would be dead without Derek. Well, I, you know, but no, because there's, there's still Rachel. Rachel could still could still educate Aaron about that. And he could, and he could still think about the bandana. Stuff. I don't really think awesome. Rachel would have been as nice without Derek. Because it was like a bad cop, good cop situation. And she would have had to work more. Oh, no. A business-centric woman would have to work more. There's never even as I mean, like, she was barely in his life to before. begin with. And now she just wouldn't be in his life. I don't know. Give Aaron a stepdad is what I say. Anyways, um, so description. Yeah, the next episode will be um, hiding no. out. Um, I'm guessing that's a Finding Nemo opposite situation. No, I'm kidding. It's because of the werewolf thing. Huh. So, um, oh, it's a werewolf thing. Aha, Jacob. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's Sunday. August thirtieth. So yes, we'll see you for August thirtieth, and that is Sunday. Thank you. Same yes, time. Yes, I guess. Five so good. Years later. Now, please leave a like. We'll just like to join me subscribe to us already. And I'm subscribed to Ghosty as well, somewhere. And on that note, until next time, Michael and Thomas, some people are in danger. Yes, we established the worst. Ghosty to 20. Much. And farewell.